with the evolution of a precision medicine field in the last years, a next generation sequencing has been more and more implemented in daily practice in research centers, but there were not recommendations from the scientific societies in order to know how to use them and when to improve uh, the likelihood of benefit of the patients. So this is why the ESMO Precision Medicine Working Group developed these uh, recommendations. The senior leader of this project is uh, Professor Fabrice Andre, and the team is conformed by experts in each tumor type that are medical oncologists, by the statistician, biologist, a geneticist, and a pharmacoeconomic team. The methodology uh, that we use in this uh, version of the paper is very similar to that one that we used in 2020 with some uh, minimal modifications. We select uh, the most lethal cancers, we look at the genomic alterations that are described on them, and we classify according to SCAD, and uh, we describe the prevalence of these uh, alterations. Then, based on this, we develop three levels of recommendations to use the NGS one in daily practice, then in research centers, and the third one in special uh, situations to discuss between the oncologist and the patient. And uh, what we did in this version is to add uh, some other cancer types, such as sarcoma and cancer of unknown primary, because the evolution of the precision medicine field, and uh, we keep just alterations classified as level one and two according to SCAT. Recommendations in this version of the paper uh, did not change a lot as compared to the previous one, but with the evolution of a precision medicine field, there are some uh, modifications, some cancers in which the recommendations were modified, as for example in breast cancer. In breast cancer, the mutation ESR1 has uh, been moved from level 2 to level 1. And also there was data in the last years that was published showing that a tumor NGS can detect genomic alterations, in that case for BRCA1 and 2 mutations. So based on this, in Recommendations 2020, tumor NGS was not recommended in metastatic breast cancer, and in this new version of the, of the paper, it's going to be recommended. It's very important the update of these recommendations in order to help and to better understand the oncologist uh, when uh, we ask for the NGS in daily practice. There is an issue of accessibility, not all uh, countries have access uh, to NGS, and this is important to know that not always we need to look for the genomic alterations but by this technology, and we have other technologies that allow us to, to look for these genomic alterations. The recommendations are going to be published in Annals of Oncology.